Hi guys, my name is Serena. In today's video, I want to share with you five steps on how you can create a perfect influencer media kit. I have had an opportunity to work with different brands and I really know that having a clear media kit is essential to landing those partnerships. I remember when I just first got an email from a brand and they asked me for my media kit and I didn't know what is it. So I Googled and I was like, okay, I need to create one. And during this period, I already collaborated with different brands and I gained some knowledge of uh, how uh, you can present yourself on, in a media kit on what you need to include and how it should look. So whether you are a new influencer just starting out or maybe you are already pro content creator looking for just some inspiration, this video is for you. If you guys are following me for a longer period of time, you may know that I have a background in design and I have made a free influencer media kit, which you can download from my website. You can download the file and you can just put in your own text, your own name, your own photos in Canva. It's super easy to use and it's absolutely free. So you can just download it from my website. First of all, you need to keep your media kit concise, simple and minimalist. And you probably may know that my own style is very minimalistic, but it's not only because I personally prefer simple aesthetic, which is true, uh, but it's more because usually less is more. And yes, I think it's basic that everyone knows, but uh, when you highlight the most important information, it's always better. It's always more visible and it's always more clear what do you want to say and what do you want to convey to the audience. Rather, if it would be just crowded with a lot and tons of information in your music kit and then all this information would just be disappeared. So it's better to keep less information, but the most important. And just always keep in mind that brands and social media managers are getting so much, uh, so much media kits and so much emails and requests of collaborations. So it's really important to stand out and to make it all super concise and all information should be really to the point. So just stick to the essentials. Second tip to create a great media kit that stands out is to define your branding. Just think about what sets apart you from other influencers in your niche. What are your core values? What are your beliefs? What is your style? What type of content you can create? And what are values that you can provide to the brand? All these uh, questions are really important to ask yourself as uh, you develop your personal branding as a content creator and as an influencer. And by defining your personal brand, you will be able to communicate your values more clear to the potential brands. I always suggest to consider yourself and to consider your personal brand as a usual brand, as a usual e-commerce brands that are working with designers when they are building their brand identity. As you may know, I also have background in design, so I am constantly working with brands on building their tone of voice, their brand books, their brand identity online. And basically here is the same thing. When you're creating branding for the brand, and when you're creating branding for a personal brand influencer, it's just the same kind of steps. What meanings are you carry? What is your niche? What is your target audience? And which adjectives do you want people to think about when they're thinking about you as a person and when they're thinking about your brand? And here I find really nice way to show this branding by using digital templates because you can always use your own fonts and colors that will be associated with the right uh, things that you want to. Also, fonts and colors can more empathize your own style, which is also great for personal brands. And I also sell digital templates on my website, so you can always find links below and uh, you can just get inspiration or you can purchase my templates if you want to. And number three is about what do you need to include in your media kit. And of course, you need to show your analytics. Brands want to see data, they want to see analytics, they want to, you to demonstrate your reach and your engagement rate. And all these analytics can include different kinds of things. It could be a follower count, it could be engagement rate, it could be website traffic if you have a website, or it could be social media impressions. So just whatever you have, you can put into your media kit. 
And if, for example, you have a small YouTube channel, it's still important to show that you have it and you might provide value to the brand. Maybe right now they have strategy when they're focusing more on video content, which could be good for you. And if you're a new content creator and you influencer that really doesn't have a lot of followers and doesn't have a big reach, it's really not a problem because you still can provide so much value to the brands. For example, you can offer UGC content, user-generated content. I think it's so popular nowadays when people are creating uh, user-generated content that can be used for the brands in the targeting, in the ads. It's really nice and you really don't need to have a lot of followers for this. Because the most important value that you are providing is content. And it could be UGC content, but it also could be a professional content. For example, if you have background as a photographer or a videographer, or maybe you can create design visuals or something like this, you still can offer ads on your uh, social media, but also you can more make accent on value, uh, what you can provide as a professional photographer, for example. Next step, which is important to include in your media key, this of course, uh, to showcase your best content. Your media kit is first of all your portfolio. It is a very small portfolio, but it still should showcase your best projects, your best content and your best works. And sometimes if you really like the brand and if you understand that you want to collaborate with this particular brand, then you can make your media kit more aligned with this brand style and you can choose content that you already created that's similar to this uh, brand's content and then you will have so much more uh, opportunities and so much more chances to be selected by this brand for partnership. Of course brands want to see uh, your experience working with the brands and uh, what kind of results you can deliver. And I think here it's nice not only to include your previous collaborations, either it was paid collaborations or maybe it was gifted collaborations, but it's nice to uh, add testimonials from the CEOs of these uh, brands or maybe just social media managers, how the work uh, was done and what they think about your content. I think testimonials are nice always anyway. And if you're just starting and you didn't have any kind of collaborations with the brands as an influencer, you didn't have gifted or paid collaborations, you still can just showcase your content that you're creating and just make it look similar to what you would create if you would have a collaboration. Next step is one of the most important parts. Do not forget to provide all contact information and make it look really clear and understandable. Your media kit should include clear and concise contact information so that brands can really easily get in touch with you. You can include your email, your name, your address, country, your city, social media names of your accounts, uh, website name. So just make it really as easy as possible for the brands to connect with you. So those are the five really simple steps of how you can create a perfect influencer media kit. I think it's always important to keep it simple and to just to showcase everything in a clear way in the style that you like. Remember to define your branding, remember to show your analytics, remember to showcase the best work that you have done, remember to show the content and the value that you want to provide to the brand and that you can provide to the brand. And of course, do not forget about contact information. By following these uh, simple steps, you will be able to create a perfect media kit that will showcase yourself as an influencer, that will showcase your professionalism and that will uh, add more value to yourself, to your social media, and this will attract more brand partnerships, both gifted ones or paid ones. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's really important for me to know your opinion, so write this in the comments below. Did you like it? Was it useful for you? Was it helpful in some way? Are you an influencer? Are you a content creator? Uh, do you have any questions? Do you want to know more from me, different tips and tricks about social media, about uh, brand partnerships? 
I'm really open to all your opinion and I really want to know more about what type of content would you like to see from me. Thank you so much again for watching this video and don't forget to follow my Instagram account and don't forget to follow me on YouTube so you will not miss any new videos. Bad.